Hi, I'm fellow Ambazonians. Greetings from my end. You're watching Jesse Engel. Um, you're probably wondering what it is I want to talk about. Um, I know that over the past past weeks we've been bombarded with uh, tons of audios and counter audios, tons of videos and counter videos and that has left a whole lot of us confused as to what is actually happening and it has left a whole lot of people demoralized as well. But I'm not here to address the confusion that our leaders are seemingly unable to address. I would hope and pray that they to wake up from slumber and find a solution to this chaos as soon as possible. Um, however, before I go into what I really want to talk about, I would want to send a shout out to our brave fighters, to our brave warriors, to say that we all owe you our freedom, we owe you um, we owe you for your bravery. We owe you for your resilience. Not just our young men that have taken upon themselves to defend our, our land, our state, but also to all the community leaders that have taken upon themselves to protect and provide shelter and food and, and whatever assistance they can provide to our people. Um, also, shout out to foundations like the Aya Paul Foundations, uh, the, the Scope, uh, Sam Soya, a center for democracy and human rights and all the other organizations out there that are assisting in one way or the other. But my biggest shout out today goes to the women of Ambazonia, especially the women on Ground Zero. Um, some of you will probably be wondering uh, what have the women done? When a community is in turmoil, when a community is in crisis like we are right now, most of the burden of that crisis is is felt by the women because our women wake up one morning and all of a sudden they are they are in in the bushes they have to find a way for families to survive they need to find a way to provide they need to survive themselves they need to take care of um, insects and wild and, and uh, animals and stuff that are in the forest they need to become warriors overnight and that is why my biggest shout out today is to our women especially the ones on ground zero i'm not neglecting those of us in the diaspora because um for those of us that and those of you that have stood up and put your face out there and fought for this revolution I salute you for your bravery. And that is exactly what every single Ambazonian woman should be, a brave warrior, a Takumban. Now, what is a Takumban? And that's what I want to talk about today. Because I feel like the, the struggle has come to a point where we need our women to take a more uh, determined step in the, in the revolution. It, we need our women to be more uh, to be more involved. We need our women to be able to arrest some of this chaos that our leaders are causing directly or indirectly. And that is why I want to tell us today. I want us all today to know who a Takumban is. Last year, um, in order to commemorate the protest that our president Sisuko Ayoktabe had called, he asked for the Takumbe women to come out and lead all the protests globally. And it was beautiful to watch. It was a beautiful thing to watch women from Ground Zero, from Bamenda to Boya, from Du to Manfe, from um, Batibo to Tundian, and to New York, to South Africa, to Joburg, to uh, Belgium, Germany. It was a beautiful thing to watch women all come out in red and white as Takumban to lead the protest on the 22nd of September 2017. But who is a Takumban? A lot of us went along with that. 
oh okay we've been told we're Takambang the dress code is red and white but who exactly is a Takambang? A Takambang is a secret society of women from the Ngemba tribe in the northwest region. Now this secret society is meant to fight injustices, is meant to fight discrimination, is meant to fight crime in their, in their communities. Most of us knew about the Takambangs in, in, uh, in the 90s, in those days of the SDF when there was the, the unrest as a result of uh, um, uh, elections that took place in 1992. The Takambang came out and they made a bold statement and the violence was handled as a result of that. That is a Takumba. A Takumba is a woman that stands up against an injustice of its people. A Takumba is a woman that doesn't shy away to hold leaders accountable when they are wrong. A Takumba is a lady that will face the oppressor head on without any fear. I'm not saying we should go face bullets, but I am saying in our actions, in our sacrifice, in all that we do, we should fight the oppressor. That is a Takumban lady. A Takumban lady is the one that knows that because of the crisis, a lot of young kids have been left without fathers, without mothers. And they open their homes to them, and they feed them, and they clothe them, and they protect them. That is a Takumban woman. And today I want to reignite the Takumban spirit in all of us. This struggle cannot be won without us. This struggle cannot be won without the women coming up and saying that we need to be a forceful voice in the struggle. We need to make sure that what needs to be done is done and done correctly. We need to, be, we need to make sure that we fight for the freedom of our leaders. That is a Takumbang. Takumbangs do not stay on the sideline. And while I understand the risks that are on ground zero regarding our women coming up as Takumbangs, because these days La Republic to Cameroon has become so frustrated that they shoot and kill our women indiscriminately. We urge our women to be careful, just as we urge our warriors to be careful. Do not put yourself in arm's way unnecessarily. Do not do it. Do not take unnecessary risks, but be there for one another. Do not sell out your own people. Protect those young ones on the streets that have no homes. And in the diaspora, when we go about our normal business, a protest is called and a handful of women show up because the rest of us feel we, we had to go to work. We had to go earn money so we can buy our kids some nice clothes and send them to school. What are you? Can you stand anywhere and, and boast and say that you are a Takumbe? Because to me you are not. What are you sacrificing? How bold are you in ensuring that this injustice against our people in Ambazonia comes to an end? How critical are you of our leaders to ensure that the chaos that is, direct, that is caused by them directly or indirectly is handled? I am not talking about conspiracy theories. I am saying holding our leaders accountable for their actions. It is time, women. It is time we rise up as Takamban because that is who we are. We are warriors. We are fighters. We are more resilient than men. We've got more wisdom than we've been given credit for. And we've got more bravery and courage in us than we have shown. Can we, as Takumbang women, ignite this spirit can we bring out the Takumbang in us? We all have a Takumbang in us. We are all part of that sacred society globally that hates injustice, that hates indiscriminate killings, that hates the genocide that we're witnessing. 
And if I must say this, I watched a video where the women in Belo were digging graves to bury their young men because all the young men had fled into the forest, into the bushes. That is what Etakumbeng does. We arise in the time of need. That is who Etakumbeng is. If you cannot, as an Ambazonian woman, arise right now, when Ambazonia needs you the most, then who are you? On what side of history will you be on? An observer? A partaker? A warrior? A Takumban? I know. I know that we are scared. There are other brave women out there that will be making videos in the next couple of days to discuss the challenges we face and the role that we can play in the struggle. And I urge each and every one of us to watch out for this. Listen to it. If you do not agree, be critical of it, but please do not be critical of us. Because that is how we build consensus and that is how we move forward as a nation, as Takumban. No struggle has ever succeeded without its women standing up and, fight and fighting beside the men. No struggle, no revolution. We are not going to be an exception. So in the name of our president, His Excellency Ayok Tabe, let the Takamban in us be exposed. Let her come out. And let us rescue our struggle before it is wrestled from our hands. May God bless all our women. May God bless especially our mothers, our sisters, our daughters back home. And may God touch the heart of every single Ambazonian woman in the diaspora to wake up from slumber. Be grateful that you are safe. But be the Takumban and fight for the struggle. My name is Jesse Emery Itambe, and I am a proud Takumban and the leader of the Skok Women Caucus. God bless Ambazonia. Short live the struggle and long live Ambazonia. God bless you.